Hello all, my name is Krishna Ayak and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, uh, today in this particular video, I'm going to discuss about the WhatsApp policy, privacy policy that has just going to get updated from February month of this year. And in this video, I'm going to discuss about this. Why I'm bringing up this particular video? Because this can become a very good use case considering analytics because just understand or just pause the video and just try to think how Facebook can bring some changes and how they can use WhatsApp as an adver advertising platform when all your information is basically encrypted. Just think over it guys, it becomes a very good analytics use case. And again, uh, many people are concerned, uh, you know, and many people have that thought that uh, probably Facebook can use their media files, their uh, probably their text message and all. So I'll try to clear you all the confusion and definitely if you don't like this privacy policy, obviously you can switch to some other platforms like Signal or Telegram uh, where those information is again encrypted. So let's see. Uh, first of all, I'll just talk about, I've also noted down some of the points in my mobile phone. So let's begin this particular video. Going ahead with respect to this particular video, this video has been sponsored by Unacademy. So Unacademy has come up with this new batches which is called as conquest 2021 it is a year-long journey for intermediate coders to become expert in c the instructor will be pulkit chabra you can find out more information with respect to this this program is actually an exclusive one year long interactive batch for intermediate coder with live sessions and unlimited access to programming content or practice problem the program comes with detailed coverage of each intermediate topic along with curated problem solving to accelerate your programming journey and get you ready for a prestigious career in the various technologies. And here are the entire information regarding the same guys. Apart from this guys, if you try to use the code that is krishnak 6 or KN06, you will be able to unlock free content and get a subscription regarding the same. Apart from this, Unacademy has also come up with its Indian Programming Camp Beginner Track, Indian Programming Camp Intermediate Track and Indian Programming Camp Advanced Track. Here you will be able to find out various topics from the beginner till the complete advanced which can actually add as a base for your competitive programming and this is entirely for free right so you can actually check out all this particular information all the links will be given in the description of this particular video now the privacy policy that basically says that uh, they say that i've just opened the same privacy policy in my phone whatsapp is updating its terms and privacy policy key updates includes more information about whatsapp service and how the process your how to process your data how business can use Facebook hosted service to store and manage their WhatsApp chat. How we partner and Facebook, uh, we par how we partner with Facebook to offer integration across the Facebook company products. Um, and they say that by agreeing by tap agree, you accept the new terms and uh, privacy policy, which takes effect on February 8, 2021. After the date, you'll need to accept the subjects to continue using WhatsApp. You can also visit the help center and all basic information is basically present. So uh, as soon as people heard about this, you know, they started, many of them have started moving towards signal and all. But yes, uh, if you are fine with this privacy policy, uh, you can go ahead with using different, different platforms. But let's understand some of the basic questions. And these questions were taken out from the Twitter of the people who were basically from the WhatsApp group itself, you know, people who are coming from the tutor and all. Again, I've noted down some of the points which I'm going to basically, uh, they, they have answered this kind of question. So it will be very, very helpful for you to understand and how to do uh, these things and all. Okay. So uh, let's see. Uh, and there are also some concerns with respect to this, uh, which we are going to read it over here. Okay. So. There are some questions and definitely by this and, and there are many people, you know, who will say, Krish, uh, this is happening. That is happening because I, I could see some of the message in yesterday's of my video and they told me to make a video. So let's proceed and let's uh, answer those questions also. Now, the first question, which many people have some of the argument, uh, you know, so does WhatsApp now share my message with Facebook as soon as I accept this particular privacy policy? And again, guys, this answer has been given by the official people over there. The answer is no. Okay. They say that the new policy does not change how WhatsApp deals with personal chats. 
which will be continuing to remain an end to end encrypted so as you all know guys whatsapp messages are completely end to end encrypted that basically means that the the official people of whatsapp or the facebook cannot see that specific messages so whatever you're communicating with your family members your uh, friends and all probably they they cannot just see it it is completely end to end encrypted this means no third party can read this chat we do not retain your chat in the ordinary course of providing our services to you instead your messages are stored on your device and not typically stored on our servers so this is also the thing guys uh, usually uh, whenever you are trying to do the whatsapp backup probably it will be storing it in your phone and you also have an option to store it in your google drive also you know so based on this probably i think uh, the first question basically says does whatsapp uh, now share my messages with facebook no it is not the second misinformation and again guys with respect to this at last i'll try to discuss an amazing use case that how probably facebook can use this uh, i may give you some of the points with respect to that but again it is up to you whether to use whatsapp or not i'm not saying i'm not saying that you should use whatsapp or not but after discussing this points you should come to know uh, you can also use telegram and signal obviously so does whatsapp share my location with facebook this is the second question and uh, with respect to this the answer is only approximate location information is basically shared with whatsapp uh, to the facebook from whatsapp to the facebook okay usually the location of the whatsapp user are again protected between the senders and the receiver so if you share your live location with a friend the information is not transmit transmitted to the facebook see even though you share the live location to your friends or to anybody that particular live location is not shared to facebook however whatsapp does gather information re related to location right Uh, which is given away by your phone number and by the ip address and this usually uh, in the facebook app in various other app also they try to use that so that they can target or they can provide you some of the ads uh, with respect to this you know so proximity uh, location information is basically provided and we have seen i've seen a lot of use cases guys uh, even in my previous company we were focusing on getting the proximate uh, location of information and this is possible only when you are when the person is using a mobile based on his mobile phone and his ip number we can basically track that okay so this was the second misinformation third misinformation is that does whatsapp now own the content media files that i have shared on the app so this is the third question and again for this the answer is no okay whatsapp cannot own any of the content any of your text message or any of your media files that you are sharing or you are probably using on the app um let's let me explain this uh, so they have also uh, provided an explanation the content you share with your friend families and colleagues over whatsapp are in the form of pictures usually are in the form of pictures videos and audio files you know, or chat history history they all completely remain end to end encrypted just like your text messages so how text messages remains encrypted in whatsapp similarly media files everything uh, remains completely encrypted while sending the same whatsapp only stores the media temporarily once the image or video or audio file has received has reached the receiver it should remain only on the two devices and not on the whatsapp server when a user forwards media within a message we store the media temporarily in the encrypted form on our servers to aid in more efficient delivery of the additional forwards and uh, this is again a important statement for everyone who had a confusion saying that uh, whether whatsapp store that specific content or not again uh, i have combined this from all the articulation that are basically given in various articles the next important question is that will whatsapp show ad now this is a very important question because that is the reason probably you know whatsapp may be changing its privacy policy because they are integrating with the facebook uh, to deliver some kind of ads so right now the answer is that not at the moment will whatsapp show ads they they are saying that not at the moment because i i don't think so they have some plan right now whatsapp will continue to be an ad free messaging services however there is a possibility of ad coming to the platform sometime in the future okay so not right now they have not announced it probably right now we still do not allow third party banner ads on our services so probably if they come up with uh, ads also i think they will try to show you facebook products and all not anybody else right we have no in, in, intention to introduce them but 
if we ever do we'll update the privacy policies again this is a this is a thing again if uh, they're, they're seriously saying that okay if we have some plans and probably in the future we will definitely update the privacy policy till then uh, there is no such plan guys and probably if uh, something is going to get updated in the future they will try to add this uh, it was reported in the past that whatsapp would add advertisement in the story and status features but the plan has been shelved for now it looks like whatsapp is focusing on connecting users with business in order to explore monetization plan okay so this is the way probably monetization plans they are planning to do the next important question is that will whatsapp record and track my audio or video calls again the answer is no guys because again all the information will be in the encrypted format so it is impossible for them to do it or for anybody to do it because the encryption is quite strong and uh, once this kind of encryption you cannot decrypt it you know whether in their server or any anything that is what uh, is basically informed over here is whatsapp storing my message again the answer is no you can choose to do a backup with third parties like google drive or apple icloud whatsapp does not store this messages if they want to probably store they just store it for some time and that also in encrypted format okay so uh, this were the basic uh, questions uh, that were there and probably i combined it uh, from reading from various articles and from the twitter also from the whatsapp officials because i could see some of some of the two twitters where they had basically put up this type of things and uh, we have combined it now now still coming to and probably it's your wish to use it or not you have to move ahead or try to use some other platforms and all but i think they have updated this privacy policy to so that they can integrate with facebook and look for a monetization plan so that they can earn from it okay so this probably is the plan but still coming to an use case now what do you think uh, okay fine uh, if whatsapp if facebook is coming with an advertising platform how they may probably do it because this is a very good analytics use case how they may probably do it how they may think it can you can you just just take basic information of yours and provide some kind of ads um, and think over it guys how they probably or location approximity is one one thing your age your your gender can be another thing so that they can deliver ads to you what about other things that they can probably use uh, because there are a lot of apps as such uh, which uses this information but how specifically they can do it uh, this is the use case that you can actually think of uh, and probably there are a lot of information that can come up with still um, they they are they're saying that right now they are not bringing any ads into it but just think over it guys what all information they can basically take and this can become a very good ai use case for you all so think in terms of the analytics but again um, the main aim is not like which one you want to use it's all your choice uh, i just made some of the some of the statements in front of you and hearing that you can be definitely take a step and try to use whatever platform you want to use but uh, my main of making this particular video was to just uh, tell you about some of the information based on that what kind of use cases can, that can come into up in your mind so think about it about this particular use case think that what all how probably facebook can come up in delivering ads and all uh, and um, in the whatsapp itself they have also given that in probably in the stories that it can come uh, you know and in other ways right and they're probably looking for like how they can actually bring up a monetization plan see every time whatever product that comes they always look for bringing up a monetization plans and all and uh, this is the plan right now that is what i feel um, but uh, it is very very impossible to decrypt once this information is encrypted but still we don't know what will happen and all uh, because these are the statements that have been done right so just think over a use case and try to provide your comments in the description in the comment of this particular video so i hope you like it please do subscribe to the channel if you are not already subscribed i'll see you all in the next video have a great day ahead thank you one and all bye bye